This is Dolan TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Edmonton Oilers Discussions here on the channel. My goodness, my friends, what a night it was to be as an Edmonton Oilers fan taking home that big fat Game 3 W and of course taking a 2-1 series lead in emphatic fashion winning by six goals for not just one game but two games in a row and yes siree this feels good of course you know I've been silent most of the series so far however you know what it's Friday night tonight I don't have to work tomorrow morning and we get to get a little rowdy here at oh just about 11 o'clock in Alberta and celebrate what's been a great hockey series between these two teams so far favoring the Oilers quite obviously but at the same rate getting to enjoy hockey in a winning fashion in the playoffs. That has not been something we've done since 2017. The Oilers have not won two games in a playoff series since 2017, and we now find ourselves just minutes removed from that happening for the first time since 2017. And gosh dang, does it feel good. My goodness. You know what? Why couldn't this come in 2020 and maybe uh, saved, uh, saved a channel or two here in Oilers land? That's fine. That's fine. Trust me, not too bitter about it. Because time is now and the clock is ticking. And Mike Smith, he hears that clock ticking no more or no less than any other player on the team. In fact, the most out of anyone. And he's getting the work done in these past two games. Now only given up six goals in three games. Yeah, he was out of the net there for the empty netter the chance late in game number one. So... Yeah, the goals against average isn't quite perfect too, but it's as dang close to two as you're going to get for mathematical purposes for you or I on a Friday night at 11 o'clock, considering 90% of you tuning in that are over the age of 18 have probably had a couple of ones, a twos, a threes, a fours, adult beverages tonight, especially with the Oilers running up a score of eight to two against the LA Kings on the road. You're not at the arena, and if you're at the arena, it was probably nine or ten or 11 beverages because, my goodness, hey, everybody was down at Rogers Place as well for it. So, whoo, 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 whoo. we are cooking. My goodness, what haven't I uh, mentioned? How about an Evander Kane hat trick tonight, ladies and gentlemen? What a fantastic performance from him to get it done and, of course, capped off with that perfect assist from Ryan Nugent Hopkins, a game that, unlike any other so far this playoffs for the Oilers, yes, Game two was a dandy, but man, oh man, this game, right? I think I said it best to one of my buddies today. I said, you know, like it was a statement game, that 6 nothing game. That was a real big statement game. But when you have a statement game, you know what you need to do with the next game? Have a- another one. Why? Because you don't want to be a pretender like that Rasmus Anderson guy down there in Calgary. You want to be a team that goes out there and shows what you're made of every single time you're challenged. And yes, the Kings challenged the Oilers a little bit more heavily tonight maybe than in Game 2 from what I saw. And you know what? Mike Smith weathers the storm. Yes, he gives up a couple goals. Yes, the Oilers' defense doesn't look perfect. But you know what? You don't need to be 115% perfect against the LA Kings. You just need to be 98.9 bulletproof and you get the job done. And that's what it, it, it gets done tonight. And my goodness, the Oilers go out there and take the 2-1 series lead. And away we go with a chance to close it out on home ice on... What would it line up to be? Tuesday, I guess it would line up. May 10th would line up to be the game we get to close out. 8 p.m. at Rogers Place, May 10th. Let's friggin' go. As Nuge, you know what, right? Like, he gets a couple of goals this game as well. Josh Archibald jumps into his first playoff assist in a while. Derek Ryan with a point. You've got Cody Ceci with a point. You've got Evan Bouchard, his fifth assist already of the playoffs in only three games. Zach Hyman with an assist as well as a couple of goals. Cody Ceci with, uh, sorry, two assists. Yes, Apuliarvi with his first assist of the series. Actually, sorry, Cody Ceci with three assists. So the guy's now a point per game player in the playoffs. Leon Dreisaitl with his first assist of the series and his third goal of the series. Connor McDavid now with five assists in this series. Bouchard with uh, two assists this game. So pardon me. Sorry, I'm looking at this chart. There's a lot on here and you can't look at it all at once like normal. So 
uh, missing a couple things. Tyson Berry, his second assist of the series, and all of a sudden, everybody, the usual suspects, are out there doing their dang thing, getting the job done, and getting us another big W tonight, scoring in all three periods, multiple goals each period, and Mike Smith a 957 save percentage tonight. And I'll get you that goals against average for Mike Smith because that's where it's really fun here. If I can get his playoff stats here, postseason, please, postseason, please. As uh, so you know what, right? One win, one loss, four goals against, a 2.03 goals against in those games, and then gives up another two. So it would be a 2.0 or 2.02 goals against average, I guess, is what you'd be averaging 0 2. And an above 940 save percentage with a shutout on the ledger for Mike Smith to start these playoffs. Ladies and gentlemen, my goodness, like I've said, I'm, I'm just trying to hone in on the my goodness thing because that's the only thing preventing me from swearing in this video because I am dang excited tonight and I'm going to sleep well. Not only did I get my new box springs, but the Oilers went up there for a second game in the row and ran up the score against an inferior LA Kings team. This is huge, right? No guarantees yet, but dang, we are getting close. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tyson. This is Dolany TV. You don't need to hear anything more from me tonight. I'm going to catch you probably on Sunday, maybe tomorrow. Heck, you never know when I get bored and randomly start posting. I am up on out of here. Mm. Yeah, that felt good. Now if I could find my mouse. <laughs>